Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to try and understand how to classify haloalkanes and haloarenes. Classification will be primarily based on the hybridization state of the carbon atom to which these halogen atoms are attached. So, the first classification will be sp3 cx bond that is the carbon atom to which the halogen atom is attached has sp3 hybridization state. So, under this we will study three class of compounds the first one being alkyl halides or haloalkanes. As we already know now in alkyl halides halogen is attached to an alkyl group or R group where the hybridization state of carbon atom is sp3. Now the homologous series of alkyl halides can be represented by the formula CnH2n plus 1x. Now this can be easily understood because we know that hydrocarbons can be represented by the formula CnH2n plus 2. Now when one hydrogen atom in a hydrocarbon is replaced by halogen atom obviously the formula will become CnH2n plus 1 and x. Now alkyl halides can be further classified into primary, secondary and tertiary depending on the number of carbon atom to which our alpha carbon is attached. For example, in primary uh, alkyl halide you can see that the halogen atom attached to the carbon is also attached to another carbon atom or another alkyl group. In secondary alkyl halide, the carbon bearing the halogen atom is attached to two other alkyl groups or two other carbon atoms and in tertiary alkyl halides, you can see that carbon bearing the halogen atom is attached to three other alkyl groups as can be seen from the structure. Now the second class of compounds under this classification of sp3 cx bond will be called allylic halides. Now allylic halides what happens is that in these compounds the halogen atom is actually bonded to an sp3 hybridized carbon atom however it is adjacent to a cc double bond c double bond c group and that particular carbon atom will be called an allylic carbon atom. Let us look at the structure here. Here you can see that carbon bearing the halogen atom has an sp3 hybridization state. However, it is just next to a C double bond C group. Same thing can be observed here as well. The CX bond is just adjacent to a C double bond C group and this particular carbon atom is called allylic carbon atom. Now just as we had seen in allylic carbon atom, the third class of compound called benzylic halides also have a similar structure. As you can see in benzylic halides, the carbon bearing the halogen atom is attached to or adjacent to a benzene system. That is this particular carbon atom will be called a benzylic carbon atom as the carbon attached to halogen atom has sp3 hybridization state. At the same time, it is adjacent to a benzene ring. So, I hope you are very clear on the three different class of compounds we have classified under sp3 cx bond. So, the second classification will be simply sp2 cx bond where the carbon bearing the halogen atom has an sp2 hybridization state. So, under this we are going to discuss mainly two type of compounds that is vinylic halides and aryl halides. So, as you can see here in vinyl halides, carbon bearing the halogen atom has sp2 hybridization state of a double bond as can be seen from this structure as well as can be seen from this structure. Now another class of compounds which have similar sp2 cx bond is aryl halides as you can see here again the carbon bearing the halogen atom has a double bond but the double bond belongs to the phenyl ring. Same thing can be seen from this structure as well. I hope you are very clear on how we have classified uh, haloalkanes based on the hybridization state of the carbon atom to which halogen atom is attached. Thank you.